guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the parabolic rise that we had yesterday with Bitcoin SV and other Bitcoin forks. I believe Bitcoin Gold and Bitcoin Diamond. Uh, so as you can see here on Coin360, <laughs> Bitcoin Satoshi's vision was actually higher than 74% as of making this video. Uh, before it was like, I think up to like 125, 140% or something. Uh, Bitcoin SV was, I think at a height of 420, $430 or something. And uh, Bitcoin Gold also went up pretty good about... I think I saw it as a high as 200% on some exchanges. And uh, yeah, as of making this video, I'm making this video a lot later from the yesterday parabolic rise. Uh, but we can see here that Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Diamond, Dash, Ethereum Classic, a lot of, a lot of coins, I guess, in the top 100 range by the looks of it, has, has gone up more than two, digit, two digits or so, or at least one digit. In, in the green and I'm trying to figure out why we had this parabolic rise and I think that you know I was watching the market yesterday and Bitcoin SV was definitely leading the way we were all watching it <laughs> watching the trading views streams watching the price watching it on exchanges of Bitcoin SV going up parabolic and we're like Okay, Bitcoin SV was like 110 bucks or 100 bucks or something. And then all of a sudden, a couple, couple hours later, it was like $430. So <laughs> that was, that was really, that was really uh, pretty, pretty interesting to see. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to figure out why that, why Bitcoin SV has pretty much led the way uh, in the past, past day or so. And I guess Bitcoin Gold as well. But the main thing that I've been hearing, and you know, I, I, I really don't know if this is the truth or not, but we all know Craig Wright always claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, and the one who created the Bitcoin white paper, yada yada yada, all that bullcrap. It's interesting that people are kind of correlating this massive rise of Bitcoin SV to the, the, the that Craig Wright has uh, apparently apparently received the keys to 9.6 billion uh, dollars in Bitcoin or 1 million Bitcoin I guess the keys of uh, Satoshi Nakamoto and and apparently some other crap like uh, he uh, where is it here he has a bonded courier <laughs> Who is sending him the keys or something? I, I, I just, I just can't believe it. This is just, this is just hilarious. Uh, but anyway, this, this seems to be something in the Bitcoin uh, SV community, like euphoria, huge euphoria, and people are totally into it and pumping Bitcoin SV. And whether or not this is Craig Wright is doing this, Calvin Air, I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't really follow the drama on the Bitcoin SV and Craig Wright that much. I just know that a lot of people always has tons of memes about him and it's really funny. And you know, this, <laughs> this post here, he, this is a Twitter, this is a, a tweet from him. He says, I'm going to slowly convert my over 1 million BTC and BCH holdings into Bitcoin through various exchanges over the course of 2020. So interesting. So I, you know, I remember looking at the Bitcoin rich list and seeing a lot of, I guess, a lot of wallets that haven't been touched since 2009, 2010. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that correlates to a million Bitcoin, but, you know, it would be interesting to see if any of those Bitcoin are going to be sold through exchanges or moved. And, you know, I believe in the course of the next month or so, we're going to, we're going to see what happens when Craig Wright uh, goes into the goes to court and provides all that this this information apparently the key slice to unlock the encrypted file uh, for the private keys for the one million Bitcoin. All right, so I that that's what I'm that's what I'm going on right now. I have absolutely no idea if that's the case or the truth of why Bitcoin SV has been going up or the Bitcoin SV community has been pumping Bitcoin SV, but 
as you guys can see, that's what's been leading the way. Three different Bitcoin names here, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin SV, and Bitcoin Diamond. Not even Bitcoin, you guys can see here. Bitcoin only went up at about 2.8%, at most, I think, 5 or 6% earlier last yesterday and yeah it's it's <laughs> oh man i just i just i just can't believe that this this kind of thing it's just what wash trades or just just kind of this kind of fake trading that's been happening i just i just can't believe i just can't believe it and it, it just sucks right manipulation whatever and uh also bitcoin sv has garnered i guess a higher rank in terms of market cap and uh, one thing I want to show is the liquidity for Bitcoin SV, that it is horrendous, like 1.4 million, 755,000 on uh, 7542 on BitPhoenix, Hubi, ZBG, I've never heard of this exchange, but tons of other exchanges here with the liquidity. If someone were to sell like, I don't know, a couple million dollars worth of uh, Bitcoin SV, it would be <laughs> the price would would drop considerably and actually well we've already dropped uh, from what i've been looking at 430 420 bucks now we're down at 353 all right so whether or not people are selling off i'm not sure uh, but obviously with with a meteoric rise that we just had with bitcoin sv uh, people are going to take profits i mean who wouldn't right look, look at this look look at look how big this 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 meteoric rise is from about 115 to 355 i think at most 420 on some exchanges binance or whatever and yeah just ridiculous just ridiculous anyways all right so now i wanted to talk about profitability so this is the stuff I, I care about. It's interesting to know. So since we've seen, you know, Bitcoin Gold up here now, which is GPU mineable, it's a Equihash 144.5, I believe, algorithm. And you know, I've I've set up one of my GTX 1060 rigs on it on Bitcoin Gold using Gminer. And uh, let's let's just take a look at the profitability here. So a 1080 Ti, for example, I put in some of the hash rates that I'm able to get and hit calculate. And we see here at 10 cents kilowatt hour, Bitcoin gold at the top of the charts now. And, you know, it says Binance exchange rate is on Binance. So I'm not really sure how long this is going to last. It really depends on the uh, the amount of miners that are going to flock to this and the difficulty and network hash rate and the sell off that's going to be probably happening. It's already it's already had a downtrend now since I believe 200, 100 percent. Uh, change uh, upside so you know you guys can see it's already it's already been having some price action here uh, going going up and down since uh, uh, since we've since we've uh, talked about it so uh, yeah at the high point it was about 17 18 bucks and now as I'm making this video it's about 15 and I guess by the time you guys see this video it's maybe probably gonna be lower probably and yeah, so I'm going to probably notice, we're probably going to notice the hash rate go up. So am I going to say that everyone should flock to mining Zhash right now? No. Uh, on Bitcoin Gold? No. Like, it's it's going to level out. And I mean, you can say the course if you're mining Zcoin or Ethereum Classic or Grin or Swap or any of these other top 10 profitable coins. You're probably fine. You don't need to switch and waste your time and trade and make wallets whatever bitcoin gold i i don't know if you're if you're into bitcoin gold then that's that's all you that's that's definitely for you uh but uh liquidity wise all that kind of stuff let's see here bitcoin gold let's see liquidity yeah jeez like much less much much less and uh the volume i don't think this volume is real uh, definitely, I think a lot of wash trading is happening, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about what happened yesterday and the huge pump that we had. I mean, yeah, Bitcoin SV, I really, yeah, good old. But hey, we have Ethereum Classic and some other ones. A Eternity also went up too. That's a that's a GPU mineable coin. A few GPU mineable coins have gone up. So yeah, so we're I'm I'm gonna keep watch for you guys and uh, I'll keep I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, for the profitability, but uh, 
yeah, this is uh, this is really funny about <laughs> Craig Wright and uh, all that stuff. All right, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.